Hey guys, welcome back to another video. D Cycle here today, and I am going to install a pin lock on my Shoei RFSR. Okay, the Shoei RFSR is the helmet I've been wearing for probably the last four or five, maybe six months now. I really love this helmet. It's got a lot of nice features and everything, but one of the things that really blew my mind that came with this helmet for free was a pin lock. If you don't really know what a pin lock is and you're watching this video, a pin lock is pretty much a little protective layer that you're going to put on the inside of your helmet to help with fogging. See right now we got cold weather out here. I'm not riding, but I know when I start riding in the spring, Mornings are gonna be cool, so I wanna make sure that I have something that's gonna be anti-fog for my helmet. So first, let's open this thing up, see what we have in here, and then we'll get it installed real quick. So there's what she looks like then there is a set of instructions that comes with it. And we're just gonna follow these. So when you buy one of these, you got instructions just to follow right along with. It's like an 80s roadmap. So my Shoei helmet came with a clear visor. I wanted something that was gonna protect the sun a little bit better, so I went and bought a dark smoke version, which looks like this. Blocks the sun really well, doesn't see so well in, but sees perfectly looking out. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to do that's very important is you're gonna to wanna to clean the install side, which is the inside first. So I've already done that. I got a nice clean place for my install. So let's install it. So when you're talking about pin locks, there's these little pins that are on the inside of your helmet right there. That's where the pin lock is gonna to install to because you can see the little inlets right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove a little bit of the protective film on each side before we actually put this on. So we look like that. So what I heard really helps with getting this in the best way possible is to kind of get this visor flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it underneath my arm, get it hooked in. Voila, there it is then I can just peel off this protective layer. You wanna get it on and let it snap in place in there and then just pull that protective film right off. Well, there it is guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed back onto the helmet and then we're gonna see how it works. Boom. I probably should have worn my contacts today. All right, let's try it. All right, so it's about 28 degrees out right now. I'm gonna breathe a whole bunch into my mouth and nose to see how well this thing works. It, it feels like it's installed right. I have no problems with visibility, except I don't have my contacts in and I can't see shit. But anyway, let's give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not having any problems. It's not fogging up like it usually would on a cold day like this. I'm impressed. I like it. No problems. See, we had some more snowfall. Sucks. All right, so that worked out really well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, props to Shoei for throwing that in for free with the helmet. Guys, I can't recommend Shoei helmets enough. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below to all the parts I've used in today's moto vlog. Thank you very much. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 
Leave a thumbs up to this and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the pin lock. Do you have a pin lock? Do you use one? Please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, guys, take it sleazy. I'll see you in the next video.